setting up Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager in under 10 minutes. Let's start. Alrighty, before we dive in, let's talk about our foundations. Our foundation is about going from marketing in the blinds to marketing where you can reliably go revenue and profit. This is so important because you need to know what button to push so you can grow your revenue and your profit. So our framework is built of three key steps, plan, build, and launch. So in plan, you go from knowing the questions you're going to ask, knowing the information you need to gather, and knowing the actions you're going to take when you have those answers. In build, you're going to understand your results, you're going to understand your traffic, and then you're going to have a story with those results and traffic. You're going to, in launch, listen to that story. You're going to forecast how that story is going to perform, and then you're going to optimize, and you're going to go straight into marketing where you reliably go revenue and profit. Now, let's dive in to GA4. Alrighty, here we are in GA4. So we have GA4 ready and we have a GTM container. We have a config, a link click and a scroll tag. I'm going to show you how to set these up super fast so you can get data flowing into GA4. Um, also then I'm going to show you a way to get this set up super, super fast before we end off. Okay, so we're going to come into GTM, we're going to click on new. We're going to go click on tag configuration. We're going to scroll down to the Google tag. Okay, in here what we're looking for is our measurement ID. We're going to hop into GA4. It, once you click on the gear, you're going to see this screen. You're going to go to data stream. Okay. Once you have your data stream, you're going to click here and you're going to go here and copy your measurement ID. You're going to go back to Google Tag Manager. You're going to pop it in there. Okay. Now, the one setting you have to set here is a configuration setting. Okay. And the only one you need to set up to get started, good enough to get going, is send underscore page underscore view. You want to make sure you see a check mark. That tells you that Google is this is this is the default parameter. This is the no one parameter. You want to set this to true. What does this line mean? What this is saying is when the config tag fires, also send a page view. Okay. So this was the what? What's the when for this one? Click on here. It is all pages. We want the config tag and the page view to fire on every single page it is on. Okay. Let's name this one. G A4 underscore config and page underscore view. Okay, so here we have it. We're going to save tag one down to left. Okay, let's go go. So we're going to click on new. We're going to click into tag and we're going to set up a event tag to get your event tags. You have to, go, to get to the actual template. You're going to have to go Google Analytics and then you're going to go GA4. Okay, events. Now, handy dandy number. If that's still sitting in your paste, go, you know, just paste it. If not, back over here and copy it over. Okay. I was lucky it was still sitting there. Now, when it comes to event names, especially when you're doing the automatic um, events such as click and scroll, you want to make sure you name them the same as GA4's automatic collected events so that if GA4 or Google ever release a report that reports on this specific event, your event is named the same. Now, how can you get here easily? Let me give you a little link. So measure.tips slash GA4 R E C O recommend. Okay. Give that a second to load. And then you're going to go to automatic collected events. Give this a second to load. Okay. What you're going to see here is these are the automatic collected events and how Google is expecting them name. So we scroll down to S. Here we go. Scroll. As you can see, it's all lowercase. To avoid spelling mistakes, I usually just like highlight it, copy it, and then paste it in here. Ta-da. Done. Now, there is an event parameter you want to set here. So what you're going to do is you don't worry about this right now. We cover this in some of our Beyond Basic trainings, but you really want to focus on this part here when you're getting the basic set up. You're going to call this percent underscore scrolled. Okay. The next piece you can do is what do you want to send? You want to send the percent the user has scrolled. So we have a handy dandy variable for that. So two curly braces and then scroll down to scroll depth threshold. I'm going to show you how to turn that on in one moment. Okay. Did the what? Do the when. So we have this trigger set up. This is the scroll depth trigger for 10, 25, 50, 75, 90. We got to name this tag. So GA4, not 3, 4. <laughs> Scroll. Okay, so we've named this. Take the space out at the end. Okay, so how did we get that variable to show up? So let me just show you that before we do click. We're going to come into variables. Okay. Then we're going to go to um, here pre built, um, built in variables, and we're going to click on this. Okay. And then we're going to scroll down to scroll. And you're going to turn, you're going to see this box, you're just going to check it. Okay, we're not going to, oops, I shouldn't have unchecked it. There you go. <laughs> and the same goes for click. You're going to want to check your boxes. Okay, so. We had scroll, we had click, we had scroll and we had config. Now we got to do click. Okay. So again, new click on here again, Google analytics again, GA4 event. Okay. So measurement ID, if it's not sitting in pace, just go grab it super fast to grab it. Okay. Event name member, make sure you name it the way GA4 does, especially when you're doing events that are the default ones or the automatic collecting ones. So click, we're just going to copy that over and pop it in there. 
OK, there are a couple of event parameters. There's a little bit more you can send over. We're going to send over a little bit of information that we know we need when we're measuring click. OK, so again, we covered the variable settings in other Beyond Basics training, but let's send a couple of variables over to get started. OK, so we usually want to know link text, right? You need to know what people are clicking on. Link URL, you need to know where are they heading, right? You can also send over link ID if you want and link classes. OK. Under link text, curly brackets, right here, click text, curly brackets. See how quick this can be? You can have this set up in under a minute. And trust me, we're going to show you a way to set this up in under five minutes, I'm pretty sure. OK, and click classes. Oh, got a little too faster on the trigger. So make sure they match text and text, the URL and URL, ID and ID and classes. OK, did the what? What's next, guys? The when. When this happens is just link clicks. OK, make sure you name this GA4. I just like to call this just link clicks. OK, so again, spelling. There we go. OK, so that is all set up and done. Next, we would go into preview mode. We would preview it, and then we come into analytics. And we'd scroll down this bar, and you see this debug view, and make sure we see ourselves here so that we can then TBV that those, tr those events are firing, trust but verify, and then we would submit. Now, how can you do this even faster, right? So we have a resource for you. So you come into the academy, scroll down, go to toolbox, right? And then you go down here to GTM container for basic GA4 setup. So being a member of the academy gives you this advantage. OK, then you come in here and you click on this button. And this takes you to a Google Drive where we have a container ready to go for you. Now, what does this mean? It means brand spanking new GTM. Uh, using our container, you come into admin. You click on import. You click on new to the file. You bring that container in. So this is the container right there. Just see this one? Just brought it in there. Now, pro tip, if you have a brand spanking new container, you can use existing. But if you are importing this in a container that you already have set up, highly recommend you create a new workspace and then also do a, let me just uh, disregard this. Okay, you also do a merge and take the time to make sure you don't overwrite any of the information tags or triggers in your workspace. Okay, so we're just going to do existing for this moment. Um, and we're going to do overwrite because we're not overwriting anything. Okay, we're going to hit confirm. Watch this. Ta-da! You have your tags set up. You have your config tag, your link click, and your scroll. Now, you're not entirely done yet. There is a final step here. You want a TBV. Trust but verify everything is set up. And then you're going to want to do preview. So let's kind of go through our tags with the last few minutes we have. First, we're going to click on the premium config and page view tag. Now, something should be pointed out here. See this? This is no longer an ID. It's a variable. Curly brackets around it is a variable. So what that means is you need to now go into your variables. And this time, you're going to scroll down to your user defined variables. You're going to click here. Go into analytics and go get your ID. So you're going to go back to data stream. You're going to go back here. You're going to go here. And you're going to copy it again. Pop on over there. Here we go. And there you go. You got your ID in there. And I'd also place it up here in the name just so you know it's there. OK. And hit Save. OK. So now you have that. You want to go just double check everything in here. So you got your ID. Perfect. You got a send page. You got your check mark. You got true. And the when is perfect. OK. Next, let's do link clicks. What you mainly want to look for here is this green check mark. It has to be checked because it's saying, yep, I found the Google tag. You got your parameters and you got the when. Perfect. And finally, scroll. So you have measurement ID, you have scroll, and you have percentage scroll, and all done. Your final TBV step is to preview this, come into analytics, go back, scroll down, into debug view, and make sure you see your events firing here. Once that's done, you can submit and publish your container, and there you have it. You have GA4 set up using GTM in under 10 minutes.